Dear students, wishing you best of luck in your ENT examination. Today, I am going to discuss on very important Viva topic that is character of discharge in chronic otitis media. As you know, COSM can be classified into two basic types. One is chronic otitis media, mucosal type or COSM TT. And next is chronic otitis media, squamous type or COSM atricandral disease. In the history part itself, we are supposed to differentiate between COSMTT from COSM atricandral disease. The discharge in COSMTT is intermittent in nature because it increases when the patient has upper respiratory tract infection, basically common cold. So when there is perforation of parts tensa, when the patient is having common cold, there will be infection of the mid layer leading to discharge from the mid layer that lasts around 7 to 10 days. After that, it becomes better. But in case of CSM atricandral disease, the discharge is continuous because there is persistent low-grade infection going on. The discharge in CSM TT is copious in amount because of presence of goblet cells in the tube demonic area near the station tube and the mid layer. Whereas in CSM atricandral type, the discharge is scanty because there is bone erosion and the discharge comes from the antrum and the attic. So discharge is scanty in amount. There is absence of goblet cells in the attic and region. As you go from mid air cavity to the attic and antrum, the epithelium becomes changed. The epithelium in the mid layer and the station division is a respiratory epithelium with plenty of goblet cells. But in case of etic and antrum, the lining is by squamous epithelium. So the disease itself is called as squamosal disease because it involves the squamous temporal bone. The discharge in CSMTD is whitish to yellowish in color. When there is infection, that becomes yellowish, but usually it is whitish only. Plenty amount of whitish discharge coming from the external canal. The discharge in CSM atricandral type is usually yellowish and purulent. Occasionally, the discharge is greenish due to pseudomonas infection in CSM atricandral type. The discharge in CSM TD is sticky or mucoid in consistency. Again, presence of goblet cells and the mucoid secretions from the middle cavity. But in case of CSM atricandral type, the discharge is not sticky. The discharge in CSM TD is usually non foul smelling. When there is severe infection, it becomes foul smelling, otherwise, usually not foul smelling. But the discharge in COSM atricandral type is foul smelling because of persistent low grade infection by endovic organisms and bone erosion that usually leads to sequestra formation. So the discharge in CSM atricandral type is foul smelling due to presence of cholesteatoma. The discharge in CSM TT is not blood stained. It is occasionally blood stained when there are polyps, but that is rare. But in case of CSM atricandral type, the discharge is occasionally blood stained because there is presence of granulation tissues and cholesteatoma and granulation tissues are the end result of healing process so they are red and pinkish so they might bleed that leads to blood stained discharge duration of discharge per episode and last year discharge are to be asked if the discharge is intermittent because the discharge might last for five to seven days in usual conditions and occasionally discharge might last for longer duration and last year discharge is important to stage the activity of disease. The disease might be active, quiescent, inactive or healed according to the time of last discharge. When the discharge is not there for last six months, the disease is supposed to be inactive in nature. Thank you so much. You should be able to answer all these questions which are very important from viva point of view in CSM. If you get a case on CSM TT, these are the very important things to be asked in the exam and you are supposed to tell the history of discharge like this. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Good luck.